Hi everybody. I am so sorry I started screaming at my uh, computer. I was trying to find stuff and it kept turning off and it was acting really strange and <laughs> it was terrible. But what I was trying to show you was uh, Aramaic and I think how they snuck it in there without the Illuminati cutting it off is to say basically imply that God is part woman and part part male and part female, like the Baphomet. So when they said, um, you know, like like both of them together, no, I'm going to prove it. I'll find a way to prove it. I hope you're, you're kind of on a way to understand. He does not take away from God being all our might, almighty father at all. <laughs> None of this does. Not Nothing I'm telling you will ever tell you not to believe in Christ or our Father at all, ever. So don't ever think that. That's not what I'm about at all. I love God so much, it's not not even possible. In love. Well, you probably feel the same way. So, uh, you know, um, uh, it, it's irritating. <laughs> to say the least. And, and the word source, I was just going to get into that and my phone messed up on me. And so, I don't know, it's been a rough day. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I was going to say about the word source, um, that boils down to in Aramaic, the word book. The word book boils down to back to Satan and the whole thing with sorcery and wizardry and all of it. Um, there's different kind of alchemists that um, uh, consider themselves sorcerers of Satan. It's, um, I forgot their specific name and what they actually do, but I'll look that up too. I'll be taking more time. Um, I have to learn this computer of mine. It's not like my old HP. So, um, what's it gonna, oh yeah, you know, like taking screenshots and stuff. I was looking for all of Satan's hidden names within the Bible, like <laughs> Noah. And I think Linda knows that. I bet you do, don't you? Uh, Noah and uh, Enoch and Moses and um, some... And one, John the Baptizer, not John the Baptist. They were two different men. Um, you know, little things like that that I learned from reading the Hebrew and the Greek and the Aramaic together. So when you got these bozos out there, clowns, just speaking Hebrew, like this one, I tried to get them to say it. I go, why don't you just tell them the truth, what the word divine and holy mean? Tell them. Tell them who the ghost is, you know, and they, nah, because I mean, yes, Christ did die for our sins. He also is a spirit, in spirit, but that doesn't mean that nobody's dead. On this planet, we're dead to God until we can make that connection, basically, is what, what our ghost-like feeling is, because we're trying to reach him, you know, and, uh, Satan knows that without the mother's help, you can't really get to the father. And that's what this all is implying. This is what, what they're trying to keep from us. There, You know, it just makes sense, doesn't it, that there's a mom and a dad? And of course the dad would be the ruler of the household and his children, us, you know. That's our father. That's my father, you know. Um, so in no way am I trying to dissuade you. I'm just trying to show you, teach you the words that are in the King James Bible. So you have a better understanding when you are reading, you know, cause, um, God, they messed it up so bad on us. So probably enough on that tonight. Um, how's everybody doing? Uh, Geez, I wish I understood about a few things, I guess. Uh, I guess I just don't understand. 
um, I just thought I'd stick it here. I don't know. There's somebody specifically I'm talking to. So here goes. I was a drug rehab have counselor and I'm fully aware of what crackheads look like. I don't think who you're talking about is that, although you can imitate anything you've ever been on because you know the feeling. And if you have stress in your life, that type of thing. So, I mean, no, I'm giving everybody the benefit of the doubt until I know better. I just, you know, wish I understood the, um, maybe it was a betrayal. Maybe that's why you're so angry. I just wish I understood exactly what happened, you know. Because trust me, my son Jonathan was a crackhead for a long time till he graduated to opium and heroin, you know. So um, I've dealt with a lot of guys just like that. And it didn't strike me as that. It struck me as more maybe a wine cooler type thing. Um, up all night, mad at the old lady because she's a crackhead is what my... That's what my instincts tell me. <laughs> so that's, that's, I don't know, could be 100% wrong. It's just what I think. I don't even know if you'll watch this. You might get mad at me and shut me down too, but all I'm saying is I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Look, if I'm going to talk to a dude in a Satan mask, um, either there's something entirely wrong with my head or my heart is intact. So those are the two choices. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, uh, okay. So what I really did today is just try to find a way to um, find everything I wanted to say. And I'll never be able to do it in one day or one, one jaunt. And... Um, I will try with all my heart, I swear to God, I will not to yell when I'm reading. It was so frustrating. Um, if you guys would, why don't you start looking up Aramaic root words like type in or, or Hebrew or Greek or all three. Take one, take one word like source or, or um, what's, what would be feminine. Type in feminine in Hebrew, then type it in in Greek, and then type it in in Aramaic and see what you come up with. You'll be quite surprised, you know. But then they want to treat everybody like we're morphodites, like we're frogs. No, we are not, you know, seriously. Oh, that's so irritating. But see, when Satan messed up with his uh, genetics, that's what happened. There was a uh, feminine where, and male were put together in places where it shouldn't have been. And that's why we're all mixed up inside here, because we're all mixed up. Human beings are not supposed to feel frustrated like this inside. That deep frustration that we have, that is not natural. We should be able to communicate with our father lickety split, like just right away. And, you know, without having to feel like we're groveling it, it, we should have no feeling of hesitance, but with Satan, we'll put that there because he's in us like that. It's not supposed to be in us for one thing. So. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I really hope everybody's doing okay. Please don't get frustrated with me. I really got so much love and it's just um, yelling is stupid. I know it is. I will curb that crap. You know, it just, God, it pisses me off that they change so much stuff all over. I can't wait till people start really all over the world collaborating more with their languages. Now, I have um, quite a few Muslims on my page and they know in the Quran that they, they speak of the divine feminine. They know who the mother is. There's a lot of, lot of religions that teach that, you know? So 
without getting too far-fetched and out of the way and hokey and all the rest of that crap, you know, and actually honoring in a spot that isn't deserved, you know, that type of thing. Um, actually not the creator. When I was like talking about source and sorcery, the reason that it's so important not to say, you know, like we're relying on a source, like we talk to God like that, that's, oh, it's disgusting. They, you know, people, the people that are animate about it, um, I'm starting to really think that you are into sorcery and that's the side you're on. So, um, I was going to call this video, may the force be with you, like the force be with you, <laughs> you know? So I just thought I'd stick it in there as a joke. <laughs> so, yeah. It was another warm day here. I'd say, um, I think it was about, oh, 85 or earlier probably about 82 now not too bad not really really horrible but yeah so let's see what else I can think of um I know I got so much on my mind with this trying to get it out without trying to offend anybody I'm not you know not that's just not my style um although I do I step on toes I know that but you know what? If somebody steps on mine first, I'm not just going to step on your toes. <laughs> I'll probably ask God if I can be an archangel and kill your fucking ass. So that's more my style. Like if I can't do it legally, you know, that type of thing. Because <laughs> actually I never really even got in trouble as an adult until... I, I say my kids were taken out. Their dad was granted custody. They weren't taken from me, but it felt like it, you know. I could call, like, on Tuesdays and find out how they're doing in school and all, you know, whatever. <laughs> or visited, and they were in Wisconsin a state away. So, um, yeah, things were pretty difficult. And they did end up coming back and that day. My 17-year-old ended up, his dad kicked him out on the street, so he was too ashamed to call me. The next thing I know, I find out he had been arrested and um, for making a bomb threat. And, well, he wrote it in a bathroom. And uh, he was working at, I think, Hardee's and was going to buy this girl a ring with his whole paycheck he spent. And then she cheated on him, and he lost it in his life. So he ended up out on the streets and ended up writing that in the school. And they charged him with, like, $30,000. And they gave this kid who narked on him, they gave him the money. In the meantime, they put my kid, interrogated him as an adult. They put him in an adult jail charged him with a felony and not one time did they contact me or his father nobody contacted me you know because that prick had my kids so there was my son going down for a felony as an adult at 17 years old and he still got to pay that off and he did jail time in an adult jail which they did to me twice when I was a kid for running away from abusers so I do know that feeling well, you know. I, yeah, I was a real criminal as a runaway, you know. So, yeah, I didn't do anything wrong until I really was too upset to think properly in my life. So enough of that, you know. But when it's concerning your kids, um, oh, the last thing about, parent really ever thinks is something like that would ever happen so and then my other one the day he came back his dad brought him back they were both drunk and high 
And then my oldest one and the dad got in a fight and I go running off into the woods to call the cops. When the cops came, they wanted to arrest my oldest son. Actually, because the dad was trying to hit on me because he was a piece of crap. And we both were married to somebody else. My son just, well, he lost it. I mean, his little brother was drunk and it was a mess. It was terrible. So what do they do? That prick goes and puts charges on my son. All the times he hit that kid, you know, he should have just, I kept telling him to leave. He didn't belong there. Drop the kid off and go away. So anyway, that was a horrible day. But yes, my kids ended up coming back. In the meantime, when they were gone, they got um, uh, baptized. But guess what? I already had them baptized. And they didn't tell their dad that so they could get more gifts from the rich family over there. That's the only reason they got them is because they had money. So that's a fact. That wouldn't have went down like that if I had had the money on my side. But And Doug wouldn't even go in there with me to um, represent as a family man for my sons, to fight for my sons. So that's a big part of it, too. Yeah. And that played a part, and all of it played a part on where my sons are right now. And I'm not too pleased with any of them. <laughs> so, but, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, some horrible times. But people do live, and God did take that extreme pain out of my heart. And yeah. Right before they did go, um, I took my son out of school, the youngest one, and homeschooled him, and he was doing really good. And then I found him a special education because um, he has ADD. Um, well, I think whatever they call me, too, <laughs> you know. But... Um, I suppose they would. Excuse me a minute. I gotta grab my fan on me here. It's warm. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He doesn't really have like a learning deficit. Like he's not stupid or anything. He just like would sit there tapping his pencil or something, you know. And um. The older one, he got bored quick. That wasn't really ADD. I think, it, too, because I taught him so much before they even did go to school. So school was kind of monotonous and boring for both of them. Well, that same year, anyway, my oldest son decided to move in with my Illuminati adopted parents. They promised to put him through college and everything. Next thing I know, he's getting into witchcraft. Well, what they did, I mean, one time the dad went and dropped them off there with no shoes or nothing. I was talking about that um, when we both were kind of taking care of them. Well, this time he gets down there. Well, they don't like him, so they throw all his stuff out on the lawn. They don't call me. They call his dad over in Wisconsin to come and get him. Kid's 14 years old. So... Then I had my 14-year-old and my 11-year-old out of my life at that time when they needed me most. And they did need me. So They still do. I have faith they'll be back. Um, I feel like even naming Lucas Jonah, like Jonah and the whale, and like prodigal sons, you know. <laughs> I have faith they'll be back because they know how much I love them. There's no mistaking it. None. You know, I always kept them clean, and I never shot drugs. I didn't do drugs in front of my kids. Even even at times if I smoked a little hit, and it wasn't daily, and even sometimes I'd go 10 years without nothing, I would go in my room and take a couple hits when I first was going through a divorce. But, um, uh, and then... When I put them in school that summer and went to work dealing, I couldn't, I had to be clean. You know, you can't be a dealer and 
I can't do the things I've done in my life and be a druggie, you know. So, and some people have mistaken me for like a, a like a meth head forty year old. Well, whatever, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but yeah, so you can't do the things I've done by uh, abusing drugs in your life. So that I'm I'm proud of that. So I did work hard for my kids, and then after I did have my semi-nervous breakdown or whatever you call it, just heartbreak, my heart was broken. I was so afraid for them boys that just, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. Um, I wasn't mean to kids or nothing, but it was really difficult for me to go out in public and see other kids and stuff moms and kids and stuff like that being in all honesty it fucking ripped me up so that was hard to get over I did overcome it I prayed about it and God helped me through it Whew, that was a roughie but <clears throat> yeah so I mean it, it came in many layers the pain for all that you know Well, I don't know if I think of something else. I'll, I'm going to roll my smokes now. I wanted to get on here before it got too dark and I looked like a zombie. Cause... <laughs> Hi. I love you guys. So, like I say, when I'm um, studying and I get a little frustrated, um, maybe start looking stuff up and help me. Come on. Come on, people, look into words. Pick a word out of the Bible. Pick something that don't seem right and study it for me. And people of your other languages, tell me what's your name for um, spirit or word for holy or or feminine. Right, right on my comment section, you know, let's get this stuff together through English and prove what we got to know to reach our parents our Almighty Father. That's how we're going to do it best is by really knowing the scriptures. And I did it all word for word like that long, long time ago. And um, I won't give up. But um, it, it is, like I said, it is hard. It's frustrating, especially when the computer doesn't want to behave. And then even trying to go incognito needle and finding things is really hard because they're hiding it. I did find some stuff on Freemasonry, but that stuff's all out there too. But I mean, proving how they hid the words. And when it says that it was taken out of our holy scriptures, that's important. Don't ignore that. Don't. These people are monsters. They want us all dead. They're flipping monsters. Please believe that. This is not so happy-go-lucky that we can ignore the facts that we're in danger. I mean, our souls aren't in danger. But daily speaking ill, like if you're saying something and it's offending God on a daily basis, you wouldn't want to do that. And that's what people are doing. You know? That's, I can't stress it enough. Please. I, I'm practically begging you. Are you listening to me? Does it matter? Do you care about me? Do you care about God? I know you do. I know you know I have God in my heart. I know you know I'm not stupid. So let's get, to, get it together and get the word out. God is not source. The Holy Spirit is not. Oh, God, it's not what people think. And if you read it for yourself, you'll see it in black and white. It's called the Divine Feminine. That's the Trinity. God's not a bafflement. God is not half man and half woman. Feel that. <laughs> Please. I did. No, I didn't. 
don't hurt me at all. I had somebody punch me in my chest once. I had a big black and blue mark. It practically stopped my heart. But and it and it um broke my sternum, but not enough to stop me. And we were sparring, so that just sort of spurred me on. Ouch, that hurt, you know. But didn't care. Couldn't care. I had to defend myself. So, yeah. But that was a big fist. I had some big fists, like <laughs> right there, and my nose, and all kinds of things. But I used to get smacked in the back of my head a lot too when I was a child. And until I had my head cracked with a bat and then my so-called um, thing, she says to my dad, don't hit her in the head. Oh, I'm thinking to myself, well, but any other spots, just fine. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, I'll tell you another thing that was monstrous one time. One, um, Not the first monstrous thing, but it was really scary when I was four. My mom went to play bingo. That's what she'd do a lot. And then uh, weird things always happen. But anyway, my brother and my dad locked me in this closet and let me scream because I was afraid of the dark. And um, I finally fell asleep, but it was like Satan came in there to scare me too while I was in there. And they were out there laughing. So that's just kind one of the cruel things, but I was about four, maybe a little. No, I had to be four because we had just moved in this new house. Um, yeah. But anyway, they're a bunch of monsters. They're weirdos. They're not right in their head. The way they treat children and what they do to them, this is all real out there, what they're doing in the rituals and the churches with the body and the blood, who the hell would think up, would you tell your kid, here's a piece of my body and here's some of my blood and we're going to do a ritual like this? Just, I'll leave you on that note. Peace and love from Pine City. <laughs>